Okay, so we're gonna do an everyday makeup tutorial today, just something really fast, um, not something that's gonna take a long time, but that you'll look refreshed and ready for the day. So we'll always make sure you start um, your makeup with a clean face. Like, don't just wake up and go. You need to use some sort of face wash. I actually just use micellar water every morning. Um, this just helps clean off any oils and dirt from sleeping. So just make sure it's all clean. And then make sure, the, honestly my number one tip is to make sure that you're moisturized. At Salon Cliché we use the L'Oreal Hydrogenous. This is a really good lightweight moisturizer that you can, that anyone can use. So I'm just going to make sure that that's all pushed into the skin and that it can sit there and soak in while you're doing your eyes. I usually like to use some sort of eye primer. If it's a really fast day, you don't need to, but just some sort of eye primer to kind of help your shadow stay longer. I'm gonna use this MAC one. And just kind of push that on the eye. I honestly, on myself, I use my fingers a ton. <laughs> shadow we're just gonna start with a really simple shade like one of these lighter ones um, nothing crazy and I use like a, a more fluffy brush so that you can make sure you can get it everywhere and just start in the crease so a way to find that is you can look up and see where that line is and just follow that line I like to go in windshield wiper motions. You can also go in circular motions. Just keep blending until, even past the point that you think you need to. Just keep going and going. Because there's nothing worse than eyeshadow that's not blended that well. So I'm gonna take this one and shade like even that dark. That looks really dark. We're just gonna use a tiny bit of it so it's not gonna be anything crazy. I'm gonna use a smaller brush, because now you don't wanna cover that same amount. Just a little smaller one and tap it in. Always make sure you tap it off so it's not going in so strong. And then you're gonna start and make a little V in the outer corner of your eye. Also, sometimes I like to take the fluffy brush again and make sure that's blended in really well, always flicking up in the outer corner so that it gives more cat eye look rather than a turned down eye look. I'm gonna take that color again, tap it off, and make the V again. And take the fluffy brush again, and just really make sure but that's super blended, flicking up in the corner. Okay. Once that's pretty much all blended, we're gonna take a more shimmery color like this one, and I'm honestly just gonna put it on with my finger. And I'm gonna go on the lid and just push it in the center and kind of bring it in the inner corner. It's okay if it doesn't look super blended right now because we'll take our brush in a second. Take your fluffy brush again. And blend out the top of that the outer corner. You can kind of use your finger too to just blend out the outer corner and blend out the top. I'm gonna curl my eyelashes. I normally pro tip, take a blow dryer and blow this a little bit 
so it's warm. And always make sure you touch it with your fingers so you're not going with like a fire iron to your eye. And that'll help your, your eyelashes curl because it's like the same thing as using like a cold curling iron, that wouldn't work. But we're still just gonna do it. If you leave it on for long enough, it'll probably be fine. And I usually take about three pumps and kind of go up the eye so that it's not just one big crease. Kind of move your way up the lash. Mascara, I just use this L'Oreal one. It's nothing crazy, voluminous. I just, I don't, it's not waterproof or anything, just black. And then you're just gonna wiggle up the eye. I always make sure I just curl them first because if you curl them after, it can kind of damage your eyelashes a little bit more. And then the next thing we're gonna do is just put on our eyebrows really fast. I use the Anastasia Dip Brow. Um, this is in the shade Dark Brown. And I just use an angled brush, something that's small and thin. You can make it look like hair. And then you kind of just follow your natural shape unless you don't have one, then make it up. And just brush it on. If it looks starts looking crazy, just take a brush like this. I'm gonna comb through it. And just do really light handed strokes. And when I get to this inner corner, I usually brush up so that it looks really like hairs and not like a big thick crayon. And then just the same thing. I just kind of follow my natural shape. Some people take a hundred years on their brows too. And if I was trying really hard and if it was not just a casual day. I'd probably take a little bit more time, but comb them on. Make sure going, throwing upward strokes at the center, and then taking where to go. Just brush up so that it really makes sure it looks like hair. And then for the face, we're just gonna take. I like to use a tinted moisturizer. This is just the Bare Minerals Complexion Rescue one. Um, I just squeeze it onto my hand. This shade's a little light for me right now, so I'm actually gonna add a little bit of the MAC Face and Body Foundation um, in a darker shade and just mix it together in my hand. Just mix it together with my finger. So I use this Real Techniques brush. You can use a beauty blender, or whatever you have, to just kind of stipple it on. The more you push into the skin, the more it's gonna look like skin. Make sure you get it kind of around your ears because that's when you can really see the, the line and then down your jawline. is not the exact same color as your skin. You just, you just have to make sure it's the same color as your neck. And a lot of times people are more tan because of either tanning lotion or going tanning and faces don't tan as well as bodies do. So just make sure you're at least the same color as your neck or your chest. At this point is when you could probably put on your concealer. I actually don't normally wear concealer, but I really like this MAC one, the Pro Longwear Concealer. It's really creamy. I feel like it's good for a lot of people. And that's a pretty light shade, so I'm gonna mix it with another darker one. A lot of people like to use like a really, really bright concealer, but I feel like that's what kind of, kind of make you look like you're wearing a ton of makeup. So I try to just do at least like one shade lighter. And I honestly, you just warm it up in your fingers to make sure it's like really creamy and warm, and then just pat it under your eyes with your fingers. Make sure you look up and really get it into the lines under your eye. I actually like to use a brush, it's a little fluffy brush too, and just really like brush 
the concealer really lightly in, being really careful with your under eye because that's one of the thinnest areas of skin on your body and where a lot of wrinkles can show up if you really tap on them. And then you can use this concealer on any spots that you might need covered around your nose if you get really red around your nose. Then I like to just set it with a powder. If you don't set it with a powder, your face can basically just rub off. So you wanna make sure that you set it with a powder. We use the MAC Studio Fix powder. Um, and I just kind of buff it in with a big fluffy brush. Just kind of push that into the skin as well. And then after that, we're gonna take the Hoola Benefit Bronzer my favorite bronzers with kind of a more angled looking brush like this and get it really lightly on there because you don't want to go too crazy with the bronzer and then you're going to always start right on your hairline and then just i kind of just go in circles and go down you can kind of flick up to make it kind of hug your cheek a little bit more dragging it under your jaw and then up on your forehead especially if you have a larger forehead you want to make sure that you really get up by the hairline to kind of give the appearance of a smaller forehead and then after this you could put some powder underneath here to kind of accentuate that line a little bit more I have pretty high cheekbones so I don't always need to do that, but if I was, if I had a little bit of time, I might put some more powder just under here to accentuate that line. And then I'm gonna take this blush. This is my favorite blush. I think it looks good on everyone. It's the Milani in Luminoso. And I get quite a bit on there. Tap it off. I actually just use the same brush because um, I'm lazy. <laughs> and then, Kind of just buff it exactly where you just put that bronzer. Don't get too close to your nose because that can kind of give a younger appearance. And put on. Blush is the first thing to leave your face. So don't feel crazy if you kind of go a little blush heavy because it will fade super fast. Like a highlighter that I like to use is this MAC in Soft and Gentle. It's a really good one for everyone also. It's not crazy, it's not really glittery. It just gives a really nice glow. And I just put it on high points of my cheekbones and really push it in. That's what's gonna make it look like a glow from within if you just keep pushing it in. And then up, I kind of go up on the brow bone too because that's kind of where the sun hits also. I take it on my finger and tap it on the edge of my nose and then right in between my eyes. Put it on your cupid's bow also, a little bit on your chin. And then, if I'm feeling crazy, I'll maybe put a little bit of that same kind of shimmery color right on the inner corner of my eye. Or I might take that highlighter also, whatever you have in hand. I just pop on a lip gloss and call it a day. I just like to use this. These NYX butter glosses are so amazing. They're just a great creamy gloss. This one's kind of just a clear color. And you can spray. We have this spray here at Salon Priche called the Tahitian Tan Mist. It's an instant self, self tanner and it's so good to just give you a glow. So if you need some, come pick it up. It's amazing. So you can spray that on after your makeup and it just gives you a little bit of a tan throughout the day. It kind of develops over time. Um, but yeah, that's my everyday, not crazy makeup tutorial.